they're all pretty amazing, but I would have to say Angela Lansbury is pretty damn amazing. Uh, I've been watching her for many years. I've, I've had the good fortune of meeting both uh, Steve Martin and Angelina uh, on a number of occasions, and uh, they've all done amazing things, but uh, Angela Lansbury is uh, a serious icon. That white-haired man over there, the wild and crazy guy from my youth, was always inspirational to me as a young actor for the kinds of heightened absurdity that he could take his imagination to. We're probably most drawn to Steve Martin just because of our comedic backgrounds and um, I, The Jerk was probably one of my all-time favorite movies ever growing up, so I have a connection there, I think, just because I've, you know, wanted to be him for my whole career. So you physically wanted to be him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It got to a weird point. He should I, be very worried tonight. I've pulled back. Sounds really gross. I've pulled back. Saying. I love Steve Martin. Um, he, you know, The Jerk is one of my favorite movies when I was a little kid. And like, I don't know. He's just someone that brings me a lot of joy. You know, Angela Lansbury, of course, is this kind of an institution all on her own. And um, uh, has been amazing. I think she started making films in 1944 or something. I mean, it's a really extraordinary. I, uh, I would just say that I'm a huge fan of Steve Martin, and he was a, a big part of my, frankly, childhood growing up, and uh, he's a man who's multi-talented and so well-deserving of this, so I'm excited for him. Oh, Pierre Tosi, oh, for sure, you know, and the costume designers have their own branch for the first time in 75 years, so I'm here to support the costume designers as well as my esteemed director. <laughs> I've been a Steve Martin fan for since a kid, and a multi-talented guy that he is. Um, it's it's nice to see that someone like uh, Angelina does what we do, but also has an entire life, you know, being a mother, an entire life, humanitarian life on the side. I really admire the kind of work that Angelina Jolie has been able to do, and how she's been able to juggle all of it. Too. And um, yeah, I admire her and I'm really happy for her to be getting this um, honor. It's an inspiration to a lot of us, you know, you see someone just make so many incredible changes and uh, such leaps and bounds and improvement, um, you know, in her inner spirit, which, you know, then in turn comes out in her work. And then you see the same thing being matched, if not superseding it with her work with humanity, you know, as a humanitarian. It's like, she deserves it. I can't just pick one. I mean, they're all pretty great. Yeah. Steve Martin is kind of like, because we're comedy people, yeah. you would say Steve Martin is... Okay, it's Steve Martin. It's Steve Martin. No oh, yeah. offense, and Is someone else here? Yeah. I love planes, trains, and automobiles. I think that is from top to bottom, a pretty solid movie. Yeah. And Dirty Rotten Scoundrels is another one. I think Angelina Jolene is, 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 is particular um, a person I feel who's just done a lot for others. I think the charity work and what, and what she's done is just, so, it's just terrific. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of very impressed by her. Well, I think the, the work that Angelina yeah. is doing is really remarkable, wonderful. Uh, you know, I've known Steve for years and years, and he's fantastic. Uh, you know, they all deserve the honor.